What's going on guys? Alright, I'm in the kitchen yet again. Um, this video is going to be a video response for Platypus Guitar. Uh, let me tell you guys, I am a, a huge fan of Reckless Eating. Um, just absolutely love the guys, the, the um, just personalities, the mix of people. They make me laugh, they're entertaining to me, and they eat all kinds of food. And who doesn't like food, right? Good food, bad food. It's funny to watch them puke. Um, <laughs> particularly Andrew. He's got that, you know, down pat. He is a puke master, if you will. But anyway, uh, watching their channel, I noticed that they, uh, they mentioned platypus guitar quite a bit in their videos. So I'm like, who is that? What is she all about? And so, you know, and of course she comments and watches the channel too. So then I started watching her channel and I fell in love with it. She's got an awesome cooking channel. Very, very cool stuff. So I'm doing a video response because I was tagged by her. Pleasantly tagged, by the way. And uh, that's it. So this video, what it's, what it's about, you know, what are you watching? What, what's, what's about to happen? You want to know, right? Well, it's pretty much to show your refrigerator and your pantry. That's all. You know, what, what's, what kind of food do you eat? What do you got going on? You know, nothing staged. Just grab your camera, go in your fridge, go in your cabinets. We want to know what you eat because we're all stalkers. <laughs> and we're very, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what the word is, um, mesmerized, perhaps, by strangers' lifestyles. I mean, YouTube has become its own reality TV. It's just, it's crazy. But people like it and they're fascinated. And once you get to know someone, for some reason, you want to know everything about them down to what they eat. So if anyone's interested in what I eat, and trust me, it's going to be boring. If you caught me about two or three years ago, it'd be an awesome video with all kinds of crap junk food and delicious stuff. But unfortunately, these days, I'm pretty healthy uh, as far as, you know, what I put in my body. And I'm conscious of what I'm putting in my body all the time. So it will be somewhat of a boring video because of that. You know, no really good flavored chips and, you know, ice cream and all that kind of stuff. Um, except for that, maybe... <laughs> that leftover sweaty ball of ice cream. So anyway, instead of just staring at this view right here, which is pretty boring, I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to get to business here. So here comes the refrigerator. And here's what I got. All right, first of all, uh, water. Lots and lots of water, obviously. And people love when I say water. Water, 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 water. So yeah, the H2O, good stuff. Um, it's pretty much what I drink predominantly throughout the day. Uh, except for around dinner time, I like something with some flavor, you know. And we'll get to that in a second. But uh, most of the time, if I'm drinking something or sipping on something, it's probably water. Um, so there you go, that's pretty boring, right? Uh, in the drawers, just vegetables and stuff. I got some love beets. These are good stuff. If you like beets, uh, just just found these at the grocery store and uh, they're absolutely delicious they're just simple cooked have them cold with dinner really not a whole lot to that right uh, celery it's good to snack on half an onion for cooking I got some Brussels sprouts in here Man, I made some Brussels sprouts what was it it was a recipe for roasted Brussels sprouts apples and I forget it was some kind of um, some kind of berry I put in there, but it was delicious. It sounded gross, but it came out awesome. So I got some Brussels sprouts left over from that. And that's it for that drawer. Pretty boring so far, huh? All right, some asparagus, pencil thin. Good stuff. And I got some carrots and some parsnips in there. Got some baby portobello mushrooms, awesome some broccoli, and a couple of limes. Um, now besides the water <laughs> that I drink, um, occasionally I love tonic and lime. And it is an awesome drink to just kind of sip on or have with dinner, you know, get a little bit of carbonation because I, I do miss my soda. I have to say, I was a huge soda-holic. I loved it all. Orange soda, grape soda, oh my God, grape soda. The crappiest, just sugar liquid. It was just delicious to me. Mountain Dew, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, Coca-Cola, just, uh, I can drink it all. By the way, totally, 100% Coke person over Pepsi. Uh, drank Pepsi, like Pepsi, can't hold a candle to Coke. Sorry, just speaking the truth. So vegetables, yeah, that's real exciting. Um, some eggs, equally as exciting as the vegetables, some butter. Okay, condiments. Um, 
I used to be like a sauce guy. I mean, whenever I had any kind of food whatsoever, I'd have to make some kind of condiment, some kind of mixed concoction, spicy sauce, right? I don't do that anymore. Uh, the only condiments I have besides hot sauce, yeah, who would have guessed that, right? Is just some mayonnaise because I have tuna fish every now and then. Um, and this apple butter, which is delicious just because of the season, you know, being fall into winter here now. Uh, it's just good stuff. It's tasty. Um, this here is some more water, but you can see it's kind of mucky looking, gross, and kind of darker yellow. This is absolutely disgusting, but I read online that if you, uh, if you drink water, like a, you know, a 16 ounce bottle like this, um, and you put a tablespoon of, um, apple cider vinegar in it, that, uh, it's good for, for losing weight. So I just recently read this like two days ago. So I'm trying it and it tastes like crap. It makes my, my face twitch when I drink it. It's disgusting, but I'm trying it. So who knows, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I'll keep you up to date on that. And then of course I have lazy garlic. Lazy garlic is just the cloves that are already peeled and everything. Um, but I'm telling you, when you're cooking, it, it, it's great, works in a pinch. I don't have to make a mess. No muss, no fuss. All right, so hot sauce, lots of it. You guys know that. These are all my open bottles, stuff that I actually, you know, eat with food and stuff. A variety of, of heat levels and flavors here, um, as well as a tube of uh, wasabi in the middle of it. So yeah. Then down here, I got some white wine, Chardonnay, 2009. Uh, that's mostly for cooking. And then I have just a, a mere swig left of some good homemade apple cider some spice cider that i made that was delicious so you know a little little glass of this in the morning with some toast or you know maybe some orange juice or whatever and put a little apple butter on an english muffin good eats that's what brown would say so yeah i mean that's you know wah, wah, wah. it's pretty boring huh but that's it i mean i eat fresh it's pretty much the majority of my refrigerator is hot sauce vegetables and water so, in the freezer, I have all my meats. Another bottle of water that I'm trying to cool off because I like it really cold. So that's what I'm drinking soon. Let me take that out. So I got some steaks in here. Get them when they're on sale in bulk. Um, you know, really good stuff. It's expensive, but when I cook up a steak, I'll eat. You know, I'll make two meals for me. Um, so I got some different steaks, some ribeyes, some New York strips. I got some spicy Italian sausages here. And my friend makes absolutely delicious homemade Italian gravy. If I say sauce, Pete's gonna yell at me. So I gotta say Italian gravy. And then I got some um, some pork chops that I seasoned up here, or actually pork loin rather. What's going on there? I got a big thing of uh, ribs. And what's over here? Uh, more steaks. But I have everything labeled and set aside for the different dates too, so I know when it was put in here. And over here, I got some frozen sauce for my friend. I mean, it is absolutely delicious. Oh, excuse me, gravy. I have a <laughs> huge bag of delicious gravy, Italian gravy that is, and some butter that I got on sale. You know, buy it when it's cheap, freeze it. That's what you gotta do, save money, right? And then some uh, raviolis just for a quick meal if I'm lazy. That's it. Some veggies. Frozen vegetables. So, I know. Real exciting, right? So let's see what we got in the cabinets. Alright, besides the plates here. Up there is my sick food. Alright, if I come home or if I had a long day, I'm really tired or like really sick, I grab one of these. Lipton soup. It's so simple. Boil some water, open the pack, throw it in. Boom. You're done. And, uh, of course, when you're sick, nice hot soup curled up in a blanket. Nothing beats that, right? So, winter's coming up. I'll probably buy some more of this because there's a lot of times where I'm going to be busy all day. And it's going to be cold and nasty, and I'm going to come home, and maybe I'm, you know, sneezing and coughing, and I got the fever, and I don't really feel like cooking a big meal. So, I'll just make some soup. Pretty simple, right? And then I got my cheap rice. I usually like making rice from scratch and flavoring and all that stuff, but, again, if I'm feeling lazy, I go with old Uncle Ben. Thanks, Ben. Appreciate that. So that's it, chicken rice. It's like rice, 
you know, peel off all those mixed side dishes. It's just real simple, easy to do. Something I really do not do often, to be honest. Uh, I don't like, these days anyway, I don't eat anything that's processed, anything that's prepackaged, flavored. I just make things from scratch, whole foods. It's really a great way to be healthy, and it is certainly helping. And I see, you know, losing the weight from it. So it's something I want to continue with. And I do, I feel better. I totally feel better when I wake up in the morning, I actually feel good. I don't feel groggy and crappy. And it's because of what you, you put in your body, you know? I grew up on, uh, you know, fish sticks and, and a lot of, um, you know, dinners in a box kind of a thing. And I'm not saying it's necessarily bad. It's just you can't have nothing but that. And since I broke away from that and I started cooking my own food and eating healthy and fresh, I really feel a difference. <laughs> I mean, I really do. So it's something I'm sticking with. I uh, got some Irish oatmeal. Got this stuff for breakfast. Same deal, just having a mason jar. Um, some honey. Honey is a superfood. So go out and get yourself some honey. Also great for first aid. Little cuts and scrapes. Throw some honey on there. It, uh, it does wonders for your body. Its stickiness acts as a natural glue, which obviously keeps your, uh, um, you know, your wound from spreading open and, and bleeding and stuff like that. And the sugars in there will kill the bacteria. So it's just good stuff. And it's great for your body. Two different kinds. I got the uh, eucalyptus honey and then clover honey. So they're just different flavors. Now I keep a lot of rice and beans and pasta and stuff in these mason jars. Um, it's convenient. I like the way it looks. It just looks presentable. Like if I have a guest over or something, they open the cabinets. I always get, ooh, wow, wow, look at that. <laughs> you know, it's something that no, most people don't do, so I just happen to do it. But it is actually convenient and to see everything. You know, I have to go through boxes because it takes up a lot less room in there than having the boxes of all the stuff. So I got different kinds of beans in here. Um, I got some brown rice here. I got some white rice. I got a mix of uh, beans for soups and stews and stuff. I got some vegetable pasta here, good stuff. Some peas for split pea soup, good for the, that leftover uh, ham carcass you might have. Some elbow macaroni hiding back there and some wheat pasta. So nothing really special, that's pretty much it. <sighs> I know, it's boring. What can I say? Perhaps I'm a boring guy. You didn't even know, all this time you thought I was awesome. And it turns out I'm boring. But anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I got some, let's say in here, I got some tomatoes, some more pasta. Oh, oh, there's that apple cider vinegar I was talking about. Oh my God, this stuff is amazing. Have you guys ever seen this before? This is, let me get, get out of the light here. Uh, Rienzi, I'll say what that is, the brand. Uh, balsamic vinegar with pear pulp. This is so delicious as like a dipping sauce for pretty much anything. Now, like I said, I don't like condiments that much, but a, a, a flavored balsamic really isn't that bad on the overall scheme of things if you're going to have a sauce. But uh, what I do with this is two things. One, I uh, marinate chicken in it and throw it on the grill, which is delicious. Uh, and the other thing I do with it is uh, I put a little bit in a little dish and I uh, cut up apples and um, pears and I just dip it in that and it is, it's amazing. It's really good. I wouldn't steer you in the wrong direction, guys. I mean it. It's good stuff. So if you happen to see that in your store, check that out. But uh, anyway, some cans of tomatoes and stuff. And hiding back there is some tuna fish. So, like I said, pretty boring. But I will go over some of the hot sauce again. So what do I have here? All right. I changed out my stuff a little bit. I have some extracts on the top level there, which rarely get used. People ask me all the time. Do you really eat all the hot sauce that you show? Well, I eat a lot of it. The extracts for me are, are twofold. First of all, they are flavor add, or excuse me, what am I talking about? There's no flavor at all, it tastes like crap. Um, they're heat additives for food. Now, only when you're cooking in bulk. What I mean is if you got a huge, like, you know, six quart pot of chili or something, that's when you break out the extract. All right, a couple drops of hot sauce just ain't gonna do it. So you put one or two drops of extract, and it's always suggested it's one drop uh, for every gallon, and that would make an extremely hot um, chili, you know? But uh, it rarely gets done. I mean, I, I love to say I make chili once a week and I use hot sauce, no, it's just, it, that ain't real. I make chili maybe once every two or three months, uh, and even then, I don't use much of the extract. But it's, uh, it's cool, it's for the collection, it looks good, it's on display, it always gets conversation. Whenever someone sees it, they go, oh, what's that? 
Now, I haven't seen hot sauce like that, and I want to say, oh yeah, go ahead and try it, but I'm not cruel like that. But anyway, we got some pure cap here to the left, which is 500,000 Scoville units. Next to it, we have the Satan's Blood. Ooh, that's 800,000 Scoville units. Then the Red Dirt Revenge from Maritime Madness, uh, which is 1 million Scoville. Then uh, Midnight Special, the 22 extract from Mad Dog, and that is 2 million. And then, of course, Mad Dog uh, 44 Magnum, which is 4 million. All right, so nice little array of extracts there. And of course, over here, I have Blair's 2 a.m. Reserve, which is, uh, I put in that case. Ah, oh, it stinks, guys. I had the other, uh, the bomb, uh, final answer, and the glass broke. And it took me an hour and a half to clean, because it was all the extract was in that case. And I really wanted the case for one of the hot sauces, so I had to clean it out, and just washing the thing out over the sink and breathing it in, I was dying. Ah, oh, it's dying. But I finally got it clean, or clean enough, and I put the, the Blair's in there, just on display here. And I have my Dave's and Sandy, the limited edition, 2011 Jalokia. It's pretty cool. And I got this thing packaged up like a fine wine. You can see it in there. Each bottle is signed and like numbered. Man, you gotta really be in the hot sauce to collect it like that. I'm not gonna say I'm weird. All right, bottom shelf here. I have my Dole Edge, which by the way, all my hot sauce I still have for sale. So if you're interested, watch that original video, you know, or send me a, uh, an email at coloryloverhotsauce at hotmail.com. And you can certainly buy it because I have a lot left. I got the Dull Edge, which is the jalapeno sauce. I have some frostbite there if I want to add a little zing but not change the flavor of anything. Then I have my clean slice, which I love. That's the garlic habanero. Then one beep, drop at a time. Good stuff, too. The bomb ground zero. Then I got some lethal ingestion. And hiding in the back there is some black mamba. Good stuff. Got to try that mongoose, the big brother, in a little while. So anyway, that's all. Really not much. Oh, Jesus, I suppose I can show you the lazy Susan. This lazy girl, you. All right, so again, extremely boring, healthy stuff in here, minus the Campbell's. This is, again, my I'm totally sick or I'm extremely lazy today dinner. Or it's really cold out, you know, soup and grilled cheese sandwich. Can't beat that, right? But that's about as the most unhealthy thing in the house I have is Campbell's tomato soup. <laughs> um, I have some organic type instant oatmeal in here with flaxseed, which I know sounds delicious, but it's not. It's not at all. Uh, I got some instant brown rice, which I've actually had for breakfast of raisins, and it's not that bad. It's supposed to be really good for your body. Um, some vegetable stock. Got some sliced almonds. Some natural peanut butter. I love these things. Sweet potatoes. Although in my store, you get these individually wrapped ones and you throw them in the microwave for six minutes and you're done. You don't have to bake it forever in the oven or you know, keep microwaving it until it comes out like a little piece of rubber. And then steamable red potatoes for a side dish. The all-time uh, flavorless rice cakes, which no one on the planet likes at all. Although you get a really nice piece of cheese you know, like you get some good deli cheese and just one slice on it, throw it in the nuker for about maybe eight seconds or so, just melt it on top and turn something that's ex extremely horrible, in my opinion, tasteless, disgusting styrofoam into a decent snack. And it's not, you know, not that bad for you. That's pretty much it for that level. The top is all coffee and tea stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Really not that exciting, guys. So... Hopefully you were uh, extremely impressed. Not, <sighs> but anyone who was interested, there you go. That's my uh, my refrigerator and my pantry. <sighs> All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And I certainly hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy.